Most of us have always been taught to believe that high GPA and test scores are the criteria we need to get into graduate school, but these days they're starting to look at other factors. So why the change? Well, it has to do with a startling new statistic. Now, how many students would you estimate actually complete their graduate degree? Get this, less than half. Less than half actually complete, about 40 to 41 percent actually complete their graduate program. That means over half of all students that enter a graduate program don't ever see their degree. So if this many 4.0 students aren't earning their degree, what does this mean about the selection process? Well, for admissions purposes, it means academic character is becoming the major selection criteria. Let's learn more about what it means to have academic character. Now we define the academic character by three main activities. You can consider them positive discretionary behaviors for students. Number one, you can kind of check this off in your head if you've done these things, is research. Research shows academic ability. And number two, internships. You mentioned you're doing internships. If research number one shows academic ability, internships number two shows professional ability. Research shows academic ability. Internship shows professional ability. Community service. Well, community service shows leadership ability. Believe it or not, leadership ability. So now that we know what academic character is, how do we show it on the application? Well, that's where the statement of purpose comes in. So but they want to know your reasoning. Why are you going? And it also gives them insight into your background, personality, and values. Your personality. Does personality even matter for graduate school? It certainly does, and it can significantly increase your chances of being accepted, even if you're not a 4.0 student. Why? Well, I often say that the selection process itself, getting into graduate school, <laughs> it's more about personality than performance. It's more about a attitude than ability. So what this means for you is don't be discouraged by statistics. Build that academic character, show it in your statement of purpose, and best of luck from all of us here at the SARC. Okay, so now you're off to a good start, and if you'd like a one-on-one -on -one appointment, please stop by the SARC, and we'll get you on to that next step.